In the last video, we covered how New Relic APM helps you reduce your downtime by allowing you to quickly hone in on your application's production errors. However, as a user that has likely experienced long loading times yourself, you're probably already aware that an application doesn't have to be broken in order to create a frustrating experience. Sometimes, simply being too slow is all it takes to drive customers away from your business. Let's consider that your company maintains a forum, and you've been contacted that the performance of this app is occasionally prohibitively slow. Without New Relic, troubleshooting this type of issue is often a painful process, since performance issues typically will not reproduce outside of the production environment, and they rarely tend to manifest in log files. This often leaves the developers stuck guessing at the issue, or spending more time trying to reproduce it than they actually do fixing it. Using New Relic APM's out-of-the-box monitoring, however, troubleshooting performance issues becomes a simple and intuitive process. From the APM overview page alone, you can quickly triage impact of slowness on your user experience. The AppDeck score is a single number, between 0 and 1, that represents how many of your customers are receiving content in an acceptable amount of time. A drop in this chart means an increasing number of your customers were twiddling their thumbs in frustration, waiting for your content to load. If the throughput drops off near a drop in the AppDeck score, it could mean that your customers are simply giving up on your site altogether. So far, that is helpful in telling you that you have slowness, and what the impact of that slowness may be. However, what you really care about is where and why that slowness is occurring. Using the Web Transaction Response Time Chart, we get a detailed breakdown of exactly where your application is spending its time. We can see for this particular forum application, it uses a database, makes external API calls, and has its business logic written in Ruby. As the complexity of your application grows, so will the number of categories exposed through this chart, including request queuing, garbage collection, and many more common performance bottlenecks. Using the data on this chart, we can see that the issue is related to API calls the application is making to other services. If it were the database, we could get down to the individual query performances from the databases tab. If it were the language VM, we could drill into the VMs tab to see detailed memory allocation numbers. In this case, the chart indicates that you should be using the external services feature to find out more. Using the external services tab, you can dive into the full list of API dependencies. It looks like the issue is occurring when trying to refresh the security token with the login service. We can see the response time is steady, but the throughput is spiking, meaning the login service is fine, but your forum application is calling it a lot. Down below, we see a list of what controller methods are calling off to the login service's refresh token API. The topics controller show method seems to be the culprit. From here, we can jump into the transaction, a breakdown of a single controller API, and view an exact trace from a customer that experienced this slowness. It looks like the customer had to wait three seconds for a page to load, and that much of that time was spent due to 42 separate calls to the login service in this single request. Going even further, we can see a code level breakdown as to where those 42 calls were occurring. With this information at hand, a developer should have what they need to rewrite the code to ensure a much snappier response time, a more successful business, and hopefully a much happier customer base.